Hello, I'm Ginger Nelson and welcome to Tea Time. Today I have Raymond Poor on the set with me and he is from Ashburn. Welcome Raymond. Thank you for having me. Now you also have your own restaurant in Ashburn. Can you tell us? That's right, Rescue Smokehouse Grill. Rescue Smokehouse Grill. I have eaten there many a times. Many a times, many a times. <laughs> My daughter takes dancing up in Ashburn on Tuesday evenings and so we all Pile up and get the old school burger. That's right, we get the old school <laughs> burger. <laughs> now, actually, the last time I got barbecue, I got mm -hmm. a barbecue sandwich. Yeah, I think David got ribs. Yeah, so. we we tried to switch it up a That's little right. bit. It's yep. hard to kind of veer away. We, well, the first time we went to the um, restaurant, we got the old school mm -hmm. burger, so it was kind of hard to try Tips. anything after that because <laughs> it was so good. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Didn't want to mess it up, but the um, barbecue sandwich was really good. I try. I'm trying to get keep fresh barbecue, you know, I, uh, the barbecue I cook, served that day is cooked that day, you know, I'm just kind of trying to keep everything fresh. Yeah, you can tell it's yeah, fresh, so. it's really good. Now, when did you open your restaurant? Uh, last year, July the 7th. Oh, it's already been a year, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. Doesn't seem like it's been that long. It flew by. It flew by. It really did. But you've had great success at it. Yeah, it's doing good, it's doing good. That's really surprised me. Uh, the community's come together, I'm starting to get people off the interstate, and so uh, just trying to just trying to do it right like it's supposed to be done. Well, I bet you're going to get well known after um, you were on an episode of, actually two episodes yes. of Pitmasters. That's right, that's right. Me and Robbie was on Pitmasters. That's twice. right. Twice. We uh, was on the semifinal, or it's the preliminary round and then the semifinal round. Well, we're going to talk about that in a few minutes, but can you tell us how you began cooking? Well, uh, it's a funny thing, you know, the, the Vianna pig jig. Uh -huh. uh, well, I was 21. We all wanted to go to the pig jig, so uh, we all loaded up, went to the pig jig, and a buddy of mine was there cooking, and uh, he he wouldn't let me go home. Said I didn't need to be behind the wheel, so. Oh, uh, oh I get you. <laughs> so uh, uh, I stayed there with him that night, helping cook the hog, and I got hooked ever since. Uh, so that was uh, 21 years ago. 21 years ago, yeah. so you started out cooking a hog. That's right, that's right. <laughs> and you got the passion for it. Yeah, yeah, it's like a bug, you know, you do it one time, it bites you and you got it. So you just go home and try to cook? Yeah, you go home and just, you just, you know, do the different things and there's also, you could take barbecue classes and, you know, learn what the judges want to see on the plate. Um, you know, you could, you know, you got good food, but you, if your presentation ain't good, ain't there, then you got to, you know, learn to pitch your presentation right. So you started 21 years ago in competition. Mm -hmm. And it, we just done it for fun up until 2007. Uh, then me and Robbie got serious about it. You know, we said, you know, there, there's, there's other things we can do with this competition. We can still have fun and win. Uh-huh. But we just, and, and what we did is we went to a cook school. Uh, and so y'all actually did go to school? That's right. We went to uh, Jack's Old South. Okay. And uh, we went to one of his schools, and uh, it was one of the first schools he gave, you know, to where he's still on, we're, we're still on the, the old way he does it, you know. Uh -huh. So uh, he's got new new classes now, he's doing a new style cook, and but uh, we're still on the old old style. Now where is the um, school? It's in Unadilla. He oh, okay. Had, he has it. He has it. Used to have it one time a year. Now he has it four times a year. Um, and you know, with his success on pit masters, uh, it's went from thirty people in the class to one time a year to seventy-five in the class four times a year. So uh, his he's grow his 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 place is really growing. And, but you started out in competition. What year? Oh. Well, it was twenty-one years yeah. ago. And you started out with how many people on, on your the team? team? Mm -hmm. uh, I believe there was ten of us. Wow, yeah. that's a bunch. <laughs> yeah, it was you know friends and family, uh -huh. friends and family, you know. Then, uh, but there was a, just a few of us that was really serious Die about hard, it. Die hard, yeah. You know, so uh, but that team we was on there dispersed, and uh, then me and Robbie st started a team in 2007. And you're talking about Robbie Royal. Robert, Robert Royal, that's and right. he is from he's from Ashburn, Ashburn as well, mm -hmm. and um, so the two of you kind of split off. From another team. From another team. Mm -hmm. And you named your team what? Rescue Smokers. Rescue Smokers. That's now, right. tell us why you named it Rescues. We named it Rescue Smokers. We have four people, uh, two other guys that joined us, and they were also deputy. One was a deputy sheriff uh, and a volunteer firefighter. Uh, one was the 911 director and a volunteer firefighter. And then Robbie was a paramedic and a volunteer firefighter. And 
I was working for George Forestry and volunteer firefighter. So the the volunteer firefighter kind of was a pattern, you know, so we just, I, I decided to, you know, to do a rescue and that's why the pig has a Maltese cross on his arm. I, so I, kinda, you know, I hadn't noticed that. So, uh, you know, that's just, we're all, was uh -huh. the, the thing that put us together was rescues. Rescues. You know, yeah, so that's where it come in. And you also work together as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you started up a team, the f four of you, and then now it's just you and Robbie. Yeah, just me and Robbie. We, uh, the other two got out, um, I want to say they got out three years ago. So it's been me and Robbie for the past three years. Robbie was unable to come see us today. Yeah, he had other obligations <laughs> that he had to tend to. So I'm here with Raymond. And now let's talk about previous competitions that you and Robbie have done. You go all over. Well, yeah, we went to, and the one that really sticks out, you know, we've got a bunch of them that we really, you know, we enjoy cooking, but, uh, you know, our KCBS, it's, uh, uh, we wanted to cook KCBS just to try to get in, you know, see what it was like. What is that? It's Kansas City Barbecue Society. Okay. Uh, so we went to Waynesboro, Georgia. Uh-huh. And uh, we bought a cook trailer to go up there and cook that. We, we had never cooked in the cook trailer before. We loaded everything we had up in it, went to Waynesboro, Georgia, and uh, uh, cooked it. And we pulled a, a reserve grand champion our first time cooking a KCBS. So we knew we was we had the right flavor profile for uh -huh. the Kansas City, you know. So uh, the following weekend, we went to Columbus, Georgia, over at the uh, Pig Bowl, and uh, we won grand our first KCBS grand champion there. And uh, and in a KCBS, you got 30 minute turn-ins. I mean, it's just, uh, I think it starts at 11.30, 12, 12.30, 1, 1.30. I mean, it's just back So you're turning in what in 30 your minutes? Meats. Your you, meats. You start off with your uh, with your chicken. Uh-huh. Then you do your ribs. Then you do your pulled pork. Then you do your but are brisket. you cooking all these at one time? You had, you got to time it all right. You got to time it where it comes off the smoker good. And that's where, it, that's where it's so, uh, it's an adrenaline rush doing a KCBS because you, you, you got to have it. You Just have right. to put it on at this certain time so that you know you're pulling it off at the at right, right time, time to take to the judges. That's right. That's kind of like, you know, I know a lot of people don't, a lot of guys always ask, how, how do I remember, Butch Nelson, mm -hmm. he, <laughs> remember him saying, he's, he's um, my husband's cousin. That's right, he was no like, Butch. Yeah, he was like, I don't understand how when um, ladies cook a big meal, how they have everything hot at one time. That's right. So you have to time <laughs> yeah, it. That's right. You just it's have to all time timing. It. That's right. That's but right. you're under a lot of stress and pressure pressure when you're timing this. That's right, because there's a clock. There's a clock sitting on the judges on the turning table. And uh, when they flip the clock down, they don't take no more product. Really? Yeah. Wow. So if you walk up there with a plate, it's, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, uh, well, Robbie, we're going to go to a quick break. And when we come back, we want to talk more about the pitmasters the competition that you were in just recently. We'll be right back. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. All right, give me a spot. You know my motto, safety first. They could be dangerous. I think we should call animal control. Animal control? <laughs> to be safe. Don't worry. Just... I got this. It's a new motto. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you.
Body language can tell you all sorts of things. Like someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. Face drooping. Arm weakness. Speech difficulty. Time to call 911 and get them to a hospital immediately. Learn the body language and spot a stroke fast. There were no hidden fees on anything. The price that I saw on the internet was the exact price that I paid. Cook4.com is the best place to go online, and Cook County Ford is the best place to go on US 41. I like it when they don't rush you or hassle me. They give you all the time you need down here at Cook County Ford. Oh, Adam, Leon, all the guys. We've known them all now 26 years. We've been coming up here that long, and we can't think of going anyplace else. The price is right. Right on the women, right on the money at Cook County Ford. Come on down. Summer is here, and it's time to spruce up your home. At Home on 12 has everything you need to make your home stunning and fresh. From coordinated bedding and monogram towels to unique home decorating items, you'll find a wide selection of beautiful pieces. If you want a new look but you're unsure of where to start, At Home on 12 offers interior design services as well. Their professional framing shop has a great selection of frames and mats for artwork, family photos, and more. Visit At Home on 12th at 1202 Highway 41 North in Tifton, online at athomeon12.com or by phone. At 387 Welcome back to Tea Time. I'm talking to Raymond Poor, and he is with the Rescue Smokehouse Grill in Ashburn, Georgia. That's right. And also with the competition team, you and Robbie Royal. Rescue Smokers. Rescue Smokers. You were recently on Pitmasters, right. which is was on Destination America, mm -hmm. on TV National. National TV. National TV. You had you were on two episodes actually. We had a uh, yes, ma'am. We was in the preliminary rounds, and we won we won that round uh, to go on to the semifinal round. Now, can you tell us how did did you apply? Well, the we uh, sent in an audition tape. They asked for an audition tape. We sent in an audition tape, and but they actually asked y'all. Yeah, yeah. They went around to uh, to every comp all the big competitions in each state and asked them to. to to choose two teams that would represent barbecue to the fullest. And we had one in Florida and one in Georgia that recommended us. So, so you they, got recommended in Florida as well. That's right. That is great. Yeah, so and so then they contacted you and asked for a another, video. Another audition tape. And they told us exactly what they wanted to, you know, want, wanted us to do on the tape, you know. Um, and we had done a previous audition tape and they seen that one and they, they actually said that I needed to talk more. You needed to talk more. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't do much talking on the audition tape. Cause, cause Robbie talks more. Yeah. Than you. Well, I thought they wanted a pitmaster, but they told us they, what we was in line for was a dual team, a team pitmasters. You know, where both of us that have much, just, you know, uh -huh. just as much to say as the other. Well, you, you're a team. Yes, yeah, right. You're a team, so you both do it together. And that's one thing I noticed when we were watching the show, um, that even though you were a team, they pretty much interviewed. Robbie more than yeah. you. Yeah, well, when we got out there, they changed the format on us, and uh, you know, they they filmed. They had uh, Robbie had to do most of the most of the stuff. You know, I done most of the work. When Robbie was doing most of the filming, I set it up for him, and mm -hmm. he just you know. But uh, uh, but you, of, you are a team, so that's right. we want everybody who saw the show to know that it was the two of you. That's right, there's two of us. That's and, right. and you pulled your weight on that's right. both even sides, though, yeah? Even though you don't see me on the camera much. That's uh, right. Uh, I'm in the background supporting him. You, you never know. know what, I mean, those camera guys are going to do when, when right. they edit the video, what they they're going to put in there. Well, they start filming, you know, Friday about about 2 o'clock Friday afternoon, and they quit filming Sunday about about 4 o'clock in that. That's a lot of footage. You know, so that's, you know, for our show, and you got, uh -huh. you know, what's that, uh, 32 hours worth of filming, you know, so. Now, how many people were you up against initially? Uh, at the, comp for the, the preliminary yeah, round? Yeah, I mean, how, well, how many people actually? There were 20, 20, 27 teams in the competition. Okay, total. 27. But we only, they only put three up against each other at a time. Okay, gotcha. And they, they'd eliminate one, you know, eliminate two teams, you have one, eliminate two teams, you still have one, and then those two teams, those, members would go back and compete against each other to eliminate two and come bring down to one where you got down to where we was you know in the semifinals we had it was just three of us uh -huh. and the winner of ours went on to compete in the final round okay. you know, against th two other so how many teams. times did you actually cook two two mm -hmm. 
and they filmed both of those. That's I know right. we watched the first show, my daughter and I. <laughs> yeah, the first show we was kind of camera shy. You know, we didn't really know what the camera wanted. We didn't know what, you know, what to expect, you know. And uh, we was anxious, didn't know what meats we were cooking. You don't know what meat you're cooking until you get there, you know. So you, you kind of, you know, nervous about that. And uh, just got to be ready for anything that comes out of that cooler, you know, because it could be uh, anything from, uh, let's say, ribs to a rack of elk. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, so, so it's, it's not just barbecue. You no, know, it can be. I mean, it could be venison. Not pork. Well, like you've seen on the last show, we have uh -huh. venison. We have venison. You know, and uh, that's something we cook. We cook a lot of down here in South Georgia. That's so, right. Uh, you uh, weren't we were, scared of it. No, I wasn't scared of that. I was. It was kind of relief, you know. Uh -huh. And then uh, they have brisket point, and we're uh, one of the top teams in brisket in the nation. So, you know, we we weren't worried about that either, you know. And and that's why you've seen such a close score because uh, Rod Gray's known for brisket and ribs. In the nation, I mean, he's he's up there in the top three in the nation of uh, brisket and ribs, you know. And him getting a brisket was was almost a gimme, you know. And, but we didn't let us that scare us none. We went in there, he put his pants on just like us. Yeah. So we jumped right in the boat with him. Well, the first round you actually won That's right. that round, mm -hmm. and then you went on to the to the semifinal round. Semifinal round. The first one was filmed in Bixby, Oklahoma, and. Uh, and you basically, you had to drive. Yeah, 15 hours. Because you had to take all your equipment. That's right. And you didn't know what, you had to take everything because you didn't know what you was cooking. You take supplies and everything? Everything. Grocery. We took everything <laughs> but the kitchen sink. The only reason we didn't take the kitchen sink because it wouldn't fit on the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, was a, it was a nice trip. We had, uh, me and my wife had never been out of, uh, as far as we've been, it's Memphis. And uh, when we got into new territory, it was a, you know, it was a good experience for us to, you know, hey, we've been to Oklahoma, you know, you, you can't, you know, down here in South Georgia, you can't really say, I go to, That's I've been right. to Oklahoma, you That's know. That's right. But, uh, it was a nice town, and they really, they really fit us right in there. And uh, So out of 27 teams, y'all were, basically came in what? Fourth. Fourth. Mm hmm They come in fourth. Fourth. Yep. And By point one eight five. I know. The last <laughs> round, oh my goodness, I was pulling for y'all yeah. so bad. And you couldn't come back and talk about it. No. You couldn't tell anybody nope. who won, if you lost or what. No. Nope. And you just had to keep quiet until it aired. It was hard, too, because everybody, everybody seeing the first episode, uh, you know, you got your hometown people that saying, y'all y'all dominated that one, you know, so yeah. you're going to, yeah. you know, we know y'all want it. You uh -huh. know, and you, you, well, you're going to have to wait and see, you know. You have you, to just sit there. You yeah. can't even tell anybody. But you want, I mean, you lost out on this last episode mm -hmm. by how many? Point one eight five. Point one eight five. Yeah, it was a set, they said it was the closest pit masters they'd ever had, and you know, since the beginning of the pit masters, it was just. I just knew y'all had it. Oh, we did too. Uh, I was actually, and it's some of the editing they done. I was actually heading, already heading towards Robbie because Rod and Robbie kind of sound alike uh -huh. when it's coming out of your mouth. Uh -huh. But when he said the last name, I kind of turned and went to his wife and shook his wife's hand. But I was already. I was heading to Robbie, and they cut that out. Well, I, the winner, Rod, even in the video, you can tell. I mean, he was straight up honest and said, I've never cooked venison, don't know how to cook it, don't oh, yeah. know what it tastes like, never had it. Mm -hmm. But he come to us, uh, he, he thought we'd want it too. I mean, that's that really? just talk, you know, amongst mm -hmm. us all, you know. And Stump, he was, uh, he actually called it out, you know. He said, uh, y'all going to win, Rod's going to come in second. And uh I'm gonna be third. Uh -huh. And I said, no, I'll stump, you don't need to be talking like that. So I said, let the Georgia boys be, it. I said, at least be you first, us second, him so third. So Stump was actually from Georgia as well? Right, Stump is from uh, up around uh, Perry, Georgia. Up okay. in that area. And your cook equipment? It's built by Stump. It's built by Stump. That's right. That's right. So he said he knew you was going to have some That's good right. meat. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, when you're cooking on a stump, you, you're cooking good meat. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, something's, it, 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 the old saying is, uh, stump don't build no junk. Stump don't build no junk. Now, he was a character. That's right. He's a, and he's just like that in, life, in real life. I mean, he, none of that was made up. That was, uh, that was really stump. Yeah. Um, you know, he's got a real rugged voice, and he's short, you know, and, but he's a, uh, he's a good man, and he, he, he'll give you a share off his back. Well, just too so the judges, I mean, did they come up to you after the show and, mm -hmm. and talk to you? And yeah, the, you know, they told us on this last one that uh, our brisket point had tightened up on us. And, and we knew that upon slicing it. Usually your brisket point, you just get your burn ends out of because it's got such high fat content to it. And when now they see, want, I don't know what burn ends. 
Well, I'll have to make you some in the okay. restaurant one day. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but it's a, it's a way we do is we cut them in, in squares, one inch squares, uh -huh. and then we cover them in barbecue sauce and put them back on the smoker and let that barbecue sauce just caramelize on the on the burn ends. Gotcha. And we call them brownies. Brownies. That's what we call them because uh -huh. that's what they look like. That's it's what just they a, look like. Just a goal. It's just a uh, nugget. Of sweetness, and it's, you just you just want to eat more every time you eat them, you know. Huh. And uh, it's a it's. But now your it, venison, you did something different with your venison. You had you prepared it two different ways, right? Yeah, we done a, uh, we done we smoked one, or they actually gave us four of them. So we smoked three of them, the whole to get the slice out of, and then we cut the other two up in uh, medallions and wrapped them in bacon. Wasn't sure about if we could do the bacon or not, so we asked, had to ask permission. Right. You know, so they had to go ask the director and the judges. Because you're basically adding more meat to it. Right. Different well, meat. You're adding meat that it's not that wasn't in the cooler. Yeah. You know? Gotcha. So we had to ask permission before we done it. We didn't want to get disqualified because we added extra meat uh -huh. to it. You know. So uh, uh, we done. We wrapped uh, something we do at the house. We wrap them in bacon and then just grill them on the grill. And it, what that bacon does is keeps that that deer meat from from drying out, uh -huh. and which will, it'll happen. I mean, it'll get dry quick. And you'll notice uh, Melissa Cookston, the one of the judges, got one that was a little, a little, dry. little dry. And uh, that, you know, that didn't help us none. But then you had to. But then the judges also said that that yeah, was like fun. that was the best venison that right. they had eaten. Right. Now she said it was a little dry, but she said it was good. It was too. good. That's yeah. right. So, but uh, you know, we had to you know, had to work with what you got, and you had to prepare. And what we was doing was thinking outside the box. You know. Yeah, these other two guys, they're going to turn in sliced brisket. I mean, sliced yeah. venison, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, when they get that, they get our box, we're going to have a variety of stuff in there for them. And, and, and that's the way we do competition. You know, we, we try to put a little bit of everything in the box so you can get a little, you know, one not one judge likes it a certain way. You know, if you if one judge likes it sliced, you got some sliced in there. If one yeah. judge likes it pulled, there's some pulled in there. That's right. If one judge likes nuggets. So you give them nuggets. a little combination. That's right. To choose from. That's right. Well, Raymond, we're going to go to another quick break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about what maybe you have coming up in the future. Right. We'll be right back. Just two big old boys, full of biscuits and charm. Beats all you ever saw, been a making us laugh, ain't doing no harm. Making us laugh, the only way they know how. That's just a little more fun than the law should allow. Are you in the mood for some amazing food? Well, stop by the Smokehouse, home of the best ribs in the South on 82 and Tifton, and try their new barbecue buffet. The barbecue buffet features their signature smoked chicken, pulled pork, and their famous barbecue beans, all cooked over high-quality blackjack oak. The barbecue buffet is offered daily from 1130 to 2 and from 530 to 8. On Friday and Saturday nights, try the buffet featuring Lake Okeechobee fresh catfish. The Smokehouse is home of certified Angus beef, and they're now in their 26th year. Let them cater your next party. Give them a call at 386-0606. My wife told me to get on that internet and see if they had one of them fusion automobiles over at Cook County 4. I did that and came over here, ended up with a candy apple red fusion for her and a, a, a new ranger for me. That's Adel, baby. About 9.30 or 10 o'clock the other night, my daughter locked our keys in the car, both sets. Um, couldn't remember the key code. I called Randy. He and Kyle came down to the dealership and was able to unlock my car and go to work the next morning. On time. Hey, look at mommy. Maybe the light hurts his eyes. Maybe she's just not hungry. Look. Maybe it's her face. Avoiding eye contact is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. Maybe he's really focused. Maybe he likes spinning the wheels. Maybe he just loves trucks. Preoccupation with objects is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today.
You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Welcome back to Tea Time. I've been talking to Raymond Poor, and he has been telling us all about his pitmaster competition with Robbie Royal. You were a team and just almost, almost made it. Almost, almost made it. Almost. So, are you going to go back? Can uh, you go back? We can go back. Uh, don't know if, if what kind of, uh, they try to do a different pit master every year, you know, so uh, don't know what they're, what they're going to be in line this year. Don't know if we'll be picked, but, uh, you know, it was a, we I don't see how you can't be picked. Yeah. I mean, you were so close. Yeah, so I don't, I don't think we'll, I don't think we'll have a problem. I can't say we was a shoe in, mm -hmm. but uh, it's a. Do I need to write them a letter? It's a good possibility. <laughs> <laughs> I can write them a letter. That's right. It don't hurt. <laughs> now, you also do competitions year-round as well. That's right. So, you you said you've slowed down since you opened up yeah, the restaurant. Uh, yeah, Robbie, he got a promotion. He's now the director of the EMS in Turner County there. Uh, I opened up a restaurant, and it kind of um, slowed us down to where we can't get off like we used to. We was doing 20 to 22 cooks a year, and uh, now we're doing four to five. But we're picking the competitions that... Uh, yeah. that we want to cook, you know, kind of like a, you know, you would say a bucket list, you know, yeah. and uh, we've always wanted to cook it, you know, so we're trying to. Probably the bigger competitions. Right. Right now on our bucket list is the Big Pig Jig. It's coming up here in 1st of November, and uh, we've we've come in second uh, two, three years in a row, and uh, we're trying to beat Meyer Mix and Jack's Old South. Uh, that's usually the one who wins it. Um, we beat us last year by one one hundredth of a point. Y'all gonna get him this yeah, year? Yeah, gonna get him. We this told year. him he was his number was up. <laughs> and he told us the only reason we're gonna win is because he's not gonna be there. <laughs> now you also have the competition at the Fire Ant Festival in Ashburn, in Ashburn. as that's well. That's right. That's right. It's a KCBS this year. Uh, uh, last year we had forty teams. Uh, some of the top top forty teams in the nation was there. You know, because we're good friends with everybody. It's a good barbecue yeah. family and. We can call, we call people. It's fun. And, yeah, we call people and invite them up. You know, you know, hey, come cook our competition. You know, our hometown because it's a you know good event. We give away great pirate prize money and uh, great trophies. You know, it's the trophies, first place trophies in each category. You need two people to tote back to your cook site. Uh, it's a hand chainsaw. Man carves trophies out with a chainsaw by hand. You know, and it's wow. a, uh, it's, a, it's some kind of trophies that you just don't get yeah. at other competitions. Yeah. So if someone wants to taste your competition food, they can come to the Fire Ant that's Festival. That's right. They come to the Fire Ant Festival. And, uh, and that's in March. That's in March. March. I think it's the last weekend in March. Yeah. And this year it's not going to rain. I, I hope, say it's I not going to rain. I hope not. Uh, <laughs> I think Shelly's already buried that, that's uh, right. buried that bottle again Yeah, that again bottle this again this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, Raymond, it was a pleasure having you well, on the show. Thank you for having me. And... Um, if you if anybody want if they miss the pit masters mm -hmm. um program this, they can watch it i'm sure it'll be a rerun right yeah uh if, this sunday uh-huh uh you can watch from beginning to end watch from beginning to end and i'm sure that they'll rerun it oh yeah several, several times, times several so times. you can set that dvr or that tivo and and that way you can see some local hometown. Local, that's, right. That's, right. that's right. That's right. On Pitmasters National. That's right. National. Maybe we don't make a honey boo boo out ourselves. Uh, oh, I don't <laughs> think so. I don't think so. <laughs> well, Raymond, it was always it's a pleasure, Thank and you it's for always me. been a pleasure when I go into the that's restaurant. Right. So if you haven't tried Rescue Smokehouse Grill in Ashburn, you need to try it. I'm telling you, it is a good restaurant with good food. So. We'll see you next time, I know, next year. That's right. We got I our hope. fingers crossed. I hope. Next year. And we'll see you next time right here on Plant Tiff Nets, Wiregrass Channel 3.